All right, so today I'm over here in the Greenway in Concord, North Carolina. I just got done filming a review video or first ride or basically an informational video about the Serial One Rush City. <laughs> the Serial One Rush City. I always mess up my words. I usually cut it out, but I'm about to stop doing that. And I'm about to head back. I had to take a quick break, drink a little bit of the coconut water real quick, you know, to quench my thirst. Matter of fact, I'm gonna get a little bit more right now. Mm. Mm, that's good, that's good, that's good. But I'm not about to give y'all a whole bunch of technical specs on this bike. I'm gonna just talk to y'all about it while I'm riding it. Y'all gonna get to see some nice scenery. And I'm gonna tell you why I love e-bikes in general so much. I also may talk about a little bit of the comparison between the Serial One Rush City and my um, Super 73 ZX that I have, as well as that Z1, and tell y'all which one might be better for you. Get the backpack, 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 backpack. Y'all, any of y'all ever watch Dora the Explorer? Boots in his backpack, you know what I'm talking about. All right, let's see here. All right, let's go. Ah, oh, Maybe one thing, that seat is right up in the bootox. Let me adjust this camera. Is that good? Can y'all see what, y'all see, y'all wanna see some handlebars. I know y'all wanna see that. All right. That should be, that ain't gonna be good once I slouch down. Maybe right there. Yeah, I feel like y'all can see everything like this. All right, let's ride. I'm gonna put it in eco mode because I'm going downhill. I love going downhill and I like these wood bridges they got out here. <laughs> Wait, did I forget something? Hold up, I always gotta double check. Let me circle back one good time. Circle back one good time. I don't know why. I don't check before I pull off. I'm terrible at that. Oh, y'all see that? Y'all see how that's handling that heel? That, that boy got leg power. That's my power. I'm doing that. I'm, I ain't doing nothing, man. I wouldn't have made it back up that hill if it ain't had pedal assist. Let's go. Hello. I love New York too. <laughs> All right, so we are here at this Greenway in Concord, North Carolina. I love riding on these like wooden things because the scenery, look at that scenery, man. You can't do this. You can't see these type of sights. Maybe you can on, I don't know, can you? Y'all tell me, can you see these type of sights on a motorcycle or in a car or something like that? I don't think you can. And even if you can, you can't just take it all in. Like I'm, I'm just taking it all in. Yes, yes, yes. So let me talk to y'all just a little bit about this Serial One. This e-bike, it can do like 20 miles per hour. Um, it's fully pedal assist, ain't no throttle on it. So I'm still getting used to that because y'all know I'm out of shape and I'm used to my Super 73, which has a throttle where I don't got a pedal. So this one is better <laughs> for your health. I will say that because I'm physically getting exercise. Now, how much exercise I'm getting is depending on what mode I put it in. Like right now, I ain't getting too much. Let me put it on eco, cause I do want to get a little exercise. There we go. But I love this thing. The one thing I will say is it is way easier to pedal than my Super 73. What's the Super 73 good for? It ain't good for really exercising and stuff like that. It's good for if you want to go out and you want to ride and you want to be lazy and you want to give it all throttle. But it does have those pedal assist modes as well that helps you get a little bit more range but this joint this joint right here will get a hundred one hundred and 
15 miles of range if you wanted to. I can't get that out of my Super 73. It ain't happening. It is not happening. Not that my fat ass gonna be going that far anyway, but definitely ain't getting that kind of range. I love that this feels like a traditional mountain bike. It feels like a mountain bike. The, the grips, the pedaling, the fact that there's no wires hanging out. Oh Lord, it's amazing. I love it. <laughs> Jingle bell. I think I'm gonna put one of them on my Super 73. Between this and the Super 73, which one would I actually ride more if I owned this as well? I probably would own this one. I mean, I probably would ride this one a little bit more because honestly, it feels a little more premium. The Super 73 is definitely fun if I don't want to get any exercise in. But a lot of times when we go out on our e-bikes, Ms. Ryder trying to get exercise in. And we getting a little bit in, but we ain't really exercising. We using throttle. We ain't using too much. We ain't using too much leg power. We, we make it seem like we is. But <laughs> you ain't using too much because if you cut off, like on here, I'm about to cut off right now. There is no pedal assist happening. I can still pedal this baby and I can still ride it like a typical mountain bike. There's no pedal assist happening. You turn off that pedal assist on that Super 73, your legs gonna need to be looking like Arnold Schwarzenegger to pedal that thing. That's one thing I like about this bike. Now, as far as jumping off road and doing stuff like that, I feel like the fat tires are better for that, but you never know, this, this bike might be able to handle it, it's possible. Hello, hey puppy, how you doing? <laughs> I just love e-bikes, man, because you can just get out. It's so peaceful. It's so quiet. There's no traffic. You get out and go places you typically can't go. You just can't go. I said it at the beginning of this video. You cannot go there on a motorcycle unless you just want to break some laws and stuff. Like, you got the beautiful streams. I'm pretty sure it's places where you can ride and you can see this. But when you're on a motorcycle, you ain't going under 25 miles per hour. You only ride like 25, if you like me, 80. <laughs> I mean, you're going to be rolling, so you ain't going to get to, you're going to miss a lot of things. You ain't going to get to take everything in. Like right now, I'm taking it in. I'm seeing leaves and grass and stuff. Like if I saw an animal, I could stop because I would be able to see it. You know, that's kind of cool. It's just cool. Yeah. Another thing, you should or you could wear a helmet. But I usually don't wear a helmet when I'm out on an e-bike. Now, if you were on an e-bike that does the type of speed some of these e-bikes do, you might want to wear a helmet, but you know, I don't. So I feel like I'm more connected to nature when I'm on these e-bikes. I'm, I'm just, you know, I'm breathing in that good air if I'm in a good city. Sometimes the air I breathe in stank. If I'm near sewage or something, you smell shit. But right now, the air smells good. It smells good. It's good. Good air. I'm breathing it. It's just, it's just, it just clears your head. I need to get out, start getting out on the Super 73 more, because this is just so peaceful. It really is. And I can stop, jump off, take a picture. Right now, I got the dealership's camera with me. I ain't got mine with me. You know what I'm saying? Just out sightseeing. Yeah, doing a little birding. Oh yeah, oh yeah. That's, that's a great day for that. <laughs> Will you notice a huge difference in the quality between e-bikes in general? You will, you know, the price is based on the quality of the bike. Like this one, the grips feel premium. I don't feel like I needed to change these grips. They're like ergonomically perfect versus on my Super 73, I changed out the grips because the grips that came with it kind of sucked. Hey puppy, you wanna go for a ride? <laughs> this one already comes with the headlights. All the wires are internal. You know what I'm saying? That's, that's what you get when you buy a premium bike. Premium. It's belt drive. So I don't hear no chain right now. I don't hear no chain going around. You know, and I like belt drive. That's just me. I like the belt drives on my Harleys, but you do get a little bit more of that <clears throat> and jerk when you got chain drive, in my opinion. Could be wrong there too. I'm the most unprofessional uh, moto vlogger or vlogger or whatever you want to talk about there he is i know some but i don't know all and all that i don't know is a lot i just know i love two wheels boop, boop. now i will say the seat 
on my Super 73 is more comfortable, but that's because it's like a beach cruiser seat, man. It's a long cushioned seat. It's like long plush cushioned seat. This is a bicycle seat. So if I had a butt made for cycling, this wouldn't bother me at all. Let me turn this thing up some. I was riding in eco mode. Oh, I'm ashy. Hand on. Y'all see my hand still messed up a little bit. Uh, I need some lotion. But man, look at that. I don't know if y'all can see that over there. It's probably too far, but it's water and stuff. It's nice. It's so peaceful over here. What is in my back pocket? I don't want to litter on the green tway. That would tend not to be nice. Uh. Yeah, you feel it kick in right there. That's it right there. That is it. Taking in the views too, huh? Yeah. <laughs> See you later. Yep, she handles good. Woo! There we go. Oh, we rolling. We doing like 21. 21, baby. All from pedal power. Ain't no assist going on here. I'm lying. It's a lot of assist. But I do feel that resistance. So it's exercise at the same time. I'm not going through this water fast. Not about getting splashed. Not about that life. Not about it. I'm out of breath. That'll do it to you. Was that a bee? Look, it's a dog park. My little doggies are out. That's a husky. See some other dogs. Pit bull. Oh, there they go. They fight. Break it up. Break up the party. I wasn't going to hit him. <laughs> How y'all doing? Pretty good. The puppies was going at it. I can't bring my way out no more. Wiggle butt ain't coming out. She about to be babied. She got herself hurt, even though she had hurt a dog. If she, if it was like even and she was able to get to him, but I don't want another dog getting hurt either. So. Yeah. That wind kicking right now. I don't know if y'all can hear that, but I can. That wind. That wind is something else. It's real. That's some real wind. All right. Come on. In case y'all didn't know, I hate heights. So this bridge, it bothers me quite a bit. I'm not a person who likes heights. Yes. Now I feel amazing. Let's get it. Oh, I'm gonna try to bail. It didn't work. <laughs> the bike feels premium. It feels smooth. I say the max weight it can handle is 280 pounds, including the bicycle. So by me being the thick 60 pounds of love that I am, and weighing 230 pounds and the bike weighing like 59 pounds and it's moving me like this this some quality right here this is definitely some quality it's like i'm gonna move your juicy self i'm gonna move you baby Whew. here we go if y'all watch both channels <laughs> like if y'all watch speedway ev speedway harley davidson and this channel you probably notice a big difference you know i ain't got to be that professional over here on this channel Ugh. i probably don't got to be that way on that channel either but i like to be i just whew, i like to be i also like to be able to breathe <laughs> all right we're gonna jump off this curb nice and slow like oh oh felt that you still back there, camera? Oh, oh, I almost lost it. Yeah, I feel it. All right, let's go. Oh boy. I don't think I'm supposed to be in the middle of the road like this. Let's turn on some headlights so 
so they can see me. Get over to the sidewalk. There we go. Ain't no more sidewalk. Where am I supposed to go? I'm gonna just do what I gotta do to get across the street. I'm gonna go up here. This is not ideal. This is probably not what I should be doing. Probably should be over there. I don't really trust over there. So I'm gonna shoot across right here. Okay, no more turn signal. Let's go across. Oh, bad rock, bad idea. This is not the right way to go. Sorry. Sorry again. Let's jump up here. All right. We made it, baby. What is that? I want to see it. Let's see what kind of bike that is. R3 Triumph. Nice. Like the Bonneville. Oh, that's a Buell. I was wondering what that was. Nice. Let me let him pop it off. All right, so if y'all want a more technical video on this Serial 1, I'm going to drop the link down in the description for you to check out Speedway EV's video. Because uh, this wasn't that. Whoopsie. <laughs> I'm about to pull back in here and uh, catch my breath. I'll check y'all out in that next one. Deuces.